Hello everyone. So I'm actually filming on my work phone so that I can use my personal phone to look at these books. And the camera is on this side, not this side. And I'm used to looking on this side. So my eyes might be all over the place. I'm very sorry if that happens. <laughs> and I hope I set it up okay. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing all of the NetGalley books that I have and ebooks too. Um, so I kind of have a mix of books from NetGalley and then ebooks. And I'm just going to show you kind of like what's, I guess, on my TBR. Okay, number one is The View from Coral Cove by Amy Clipton. Clip Clipton? Yeah. Clip Clipston? Clipston. <laughs> okay. The words are very small. And yeah, I, I think I shared this in my new releases video. So some of these are going to be repeats because I did make a anticipated releases kind of um, I'll link that down below. Um, so not all of the books in that video are going to be in this one. Anyway, yeah, I'm thinking of reading this soon. It follows a, a mom and her son, which actually isn't my favorite trope. I don't actually like it when one of the love interests has a kid, but, and yet there are some books with that that I like. So anyway, it's not like a seller for me. So this one, yeah, they moved to like a small beach town or something. And I think her old crush is there as well. And it's something like that. I, I really like the cover of it and I just am interested. So that's one. Okay, the next one is Edge of Dusk by Colin Coble. Um, I want to wait to read this until I've read um, Distant Echoes by Colin Coble. And just because, I don't know. This is the start of a new series for her. So I I don't know. I, I still don't know if I like her books yet because I haven't read one. Um, I'm going to start Distant Echoes very soon though um, with Chloe. So I'm excited about that. And that's all I have to say. I don't know anything about it. Okay, next I do have Relative Justice as an ebook. And this one is weird because I've pretty much hyped it up in my head that I'm going to like it. And now I'm like afraid to start it because what if I don't like it? It's one of those things. Do you guys do that? Because sometimes I do that and it's really annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so I got Sunrise by Susan May Warren. It came out in January, still haven't read it, but well. Um, but then I saw that Sunburst, the sequel, is also on NetGalley and I'm like pre-approved for Revel, is that who publishes it? It's either Revel or Bethany House. I think it's Bethany House actually. I forget, but so I got both. So now I can read them one after the other. I hope that I like it, but I, I, I do like Susan May Warren. Um, I just haven't read a book by her in a while, so I'm like not sure, but either way. Yeah, I've got both books. Love the covers to these books. Seriously. Oh yeah, I got To Win a Prince. See, I'm kind of forgetting. <laughs> I got To Win a Prince by Tony Shiloh. So this is the sequel to, oh no, I forget the title. In Search of a Prince, pretty sure. Yeah, so now the sequel is To Win a Prince. It follows her best friend, I'm pretty sure. So I'm excited about that. It's, I think it comes out in September, so it's a pretty early arc, so yay. Um, one that I'm really excited about is I got The Record Keeper by Charles Martin. So this is the third book to the Waterkeeper trilogy. I'm pretty sure it's just a trilogy. So this is the first book and I recently showed the second book uh, in a haul. And now I do have the third book as a, an ebook. So that works. So that is like more motivating for me to pick up The Waterkeeper now um, because I do have the third book. So I'm thankful for that. So those are my NetGalley books. I really try to not have a lot checked out because, you know, because it's not like the library where you can check things out and just return them and never read them. With NetGalley, they expect a review. So if you request a book and then don't end up wanting to read it, then it like contributes to your score and you want to give good reviews. Anyway, so I try to like be smart with what I request if I actually want to read the book. So on to the ebooks that I have. So the first one is in my Kindle app as well. And I don't even know how it got here. I think it's free somehow. I think it's free on her website. Anyway, so it's Shattered Rose by Tammy L. Gray. I'm pretty sure she probably posted on Instagram or something that it was free on her website and then I downloaded it to my Kindle app. I think that's what happened. So yeah, Shattered Rose. I've heard that it's like pretty intense. I don't know anything about it, but my mom actually read it and she said, whoa, like it was really good, but really intense. So I'm like, okay, 
good to know. I mean, Tamiel Gray is actually really, really good at that. She writes just like such good stories, you already know. But anyway, so I do have that book. I don't know. So that's the Kindle app. I'm going to go to my iBooks now, and I'm pretty sure I have books in there. I definitely do. Okay. Great. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. I have not gone into my iBooks app in a long time. I actually have a lot of books in here. Okay. Um, so where do I start? I have just one. Wait. Okay. Some of these, a lot of these actually, were sent by a subscriber who... She had like a bunch of ebooks and she like emailed them to me and so now I have them too. And I just like, I, I just, I kind of forgot about them actually. I, I forgot all these books that are in my iBooks. Okay, I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. See, I'm looking over here again. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay, Isaiah's Daughter by Misu Andrews. I've heard people love this author and she writes biblical fiction. And I used to really like biblical fiction, but I have not been in the mood to read that in a long time. And I, I still don't feel like it. I'm like a purely contemporary person. I like real life stories right now that I don't know. That's what I like the best. So anyway, but I do have Isaiah's daughter. And if I, so if I want to try Misu Andrews, I can read that. Um, I do have Just One Kiss by Courtney Walsh. Definitely forgot that I had that. Is it... Is it, what is it? <laughs> is it part of a series or is it a standalone? Because what's the other, what's the one? Just, just, yeah, sorry. I really don't know what any of these are about. So I'll put them on the screen and you can tell me what they're about and if they're good, okay? So yeah, I don't know anything about Just One Kiss. I also have The Off Limits Row by Sarah Adams. Sarah Adams, I'm not sure that she's a Christian author, but I've heard that her books are clean and they're really great romances. So I have The Off Limits Rule. I think it's about a, a brother and sister and the sister likes the brother's friend, I think. Um, yeah. I also have The Truth Between Us by Tammy L. Gray. And I know that this is a sequel to another book and I can't get my hands on the first book. So... I just haven't read it, but I do remember having this. It's the something, something. Okay, I can't read it, but yeah. Okay, also, I have a couple Rosanna M. White books. Will I ever read these? I don't know. But I have A Song Unheard and An Hour Unspent. I think they're in the same series, but I don't know what series. <laughs> and then I have A Name Unknown as well. Oh, is that the first book? A Name Unknown, A Song Unheard, An Hour Unspent? They sound pretty similar. I don't know. I might be reading A Name Unknown because it has books on the cover and one of Chantal's prompts, I think for June, is a book on the cover. And I was like ha struggling to find a book with a book on the cover and A Name Unknown has one. So if you're struggling, check it out. I also have To Dwell Among Cedars by Connell and Cassette. That's another author that people love never read by her though um I think she writes biblical fiction as well and I don't know I just always choose contemporary over anything historical so yeah I also have Brand of Light by Ronnie Kendig maybe Ronnie Kendig I don't know um sci-fi but haven't heard anything about it I think it's Christian too but I I don't know tell me please um, I also have two Emma St. Clair books, Falling for Your Fake Fiancé and Falling for Your Best Friend's Twin. I don't know anything about these, but I think they're clean and just like funny romances. This one is weird. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this title, okay? Uh, a Man Worth Shaving For by Michelle Pennington. Again, I think this is a clean book, but I don't like the title. I don't know why. It just like rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I have that too. Okay, then I have Come Next Winter and I don't know the author. Oh, by, oh, two authors. By Linda, Hannah, and Deborah Do Dolworth. This is by Mountain Brook Inc. Publishing. Um, it's like a smaller Christian publisher. Um, they sent me this book uh, a little while ago, but because it's like set in winter, I kind of put it off and now I don't want to read it until later. But I yeah, I do have that. I think I... The cover is nice from what I remember. I just have like a blank screen, so I don't know what the cover looks like here. And then I have A Work in Progress by Stacey Stallings. 
this I think is a Christian book as well and my mom read it and recommended it and it was free on something so that's how I got it yeah so those are my ebooks on my iBooks app <laughs> and then really quickly I'll tell you what I have checked out on Libby it's literally one book and it's you guys already know about it but I have distant echoes checked out because um, I'm gonna start it fairly soon and um, yeah so I have that so those are all of the ebooks that I have um, when I'm reading an ebook I read it on this phone it's super easy I just whip out my phone and read a couple screens and it, I, I do that all the time it's really easy for me I really like having an ebook on the go because then like when I'm at work and I'm on breaks and stuff I just like read on my phone and in bed I read on my phone on be in bed a lot and I'm more likely to try a book that I'm not sure about on ebook because I tend to read ebooks faster because it's like such a quick scroll and because the screen is smaller it's like less space for my eyes to travel on than like a book you know and I think I read it faster I don't know um, it's also easier to skim, not gonna lie, you know, I'm a skim reader, so not always, but sometimes. And uh, yeah, also this picture, oh, right. <laughs> I took this at work. We have beautiful trees at work, and so I took that picture. And my lock screen is, ah, the ocean, when I was uh, on the ferry. Remember that ferry story? Did I tell a ferry story recently? Anyway, um, that is a picture of the ocean on the very <laughs> okay um yeah so that is everything thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and please let me know your thoughts on these books thank you for watching i hope this different kind of video was nice um i'm i'm gonna film on this phone like most of the time because now i have to airdrop this to this phone so i can edit it because i edit on this phone too anyway do you care yes maybe so yeah I looked at the camera as mess as much as I could, but also the screen is bigger, so it's like easier to look at myself. See, I'm looking at myself right now. And I always like check if my hair looks good and whatever, so yeah. Okay, thank you for watching, you guys. I'll see you in my next one. <sighs> okay. Um, I'll start with NetGalley because I just will, so. <laughs> And I feel like, brie, you know? And I'm looking over here when I should be looking over here. <laughs>